As we count down to election day, we're on your side answering your questions about the process from where's my ballot to can I vote in person if I never got my absentee ballot. WHS 11 political editor Chris Williams took your concerns to state and local officials. He has answers from the Capitol. The Secretary of State and Board of Elections are monitoring the ramp up to November 3rd here at the state capitol. They insist that there have been very few hiccups in the new process. But that doesn't dismiss some of your concerns. One of them was sent by a person saying they dropped off their ballot at an in-person site, but days later it was not showing as processed by their county clerk. Secretary of State Michael Adams said counties across the Commonwealth are scanning them in as quickly as possible. And we've got half a million plus of these that are coming in. Uh, many thousands and thousands a day. It could be that they've received it, but they haven't logged it yet. So we do ask people to be patient. Uh, they do pick them up at the end of each day and they do bring them down to be processed. Eyewitness workers collecting ballots from a drop box and scanning them in in Jefferson County as well. It's important to note that those ballots are placed in blue bins. They may get shuffled around in the process, so just because two were dropped off together doesn't mean they'll stay together. Another viewer is concerned that their ballot had not yet arrived back at the clerk's office after they mailed it, and when they called the Board of Elections, they were told that the only recourse was a hearing at the Board of Elections. Officials say that is indeed the case. That has to take place on Election Day, and there's still a chance you can vote in person. If an individual has received an absentee ballot and sent it back and there's no record of that vote having been cast, the individual can appeal to the County Board of Elections and be given a hearing an opportunity to vote in person. Others have requested a ballot, but their ballot has yet to arrive in their mailbox. Today begins the period where those voters can vote in person. If you do come and vote in person and we have a record that you asked for an absentee ballot, we'll have to have you fill out some paperwork to cancel your absentee ballot so you'll have an opportunity to vote twice. What would happen is that when the ballot came in, that ballot would be automatically rejected because that person's already voted. Officials I spoke with insist that those types of issues are rare, but they're the reason why they tell people to get those absentee ballots to the in-person drop boxes as soon as possible. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.